hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to connect your database with your I report in this video we, we are going to generate a new fresh report with the help of our database so what you need to do is go to your files click new and new file window will open here you can see so many type of templates are given you can choose anyone for now I will choose cherry and I will click launch report wizard here and here it will ask me to give a name so I will give a name to it so I will write first first report and I have to give some path generally it's a good practice to save your report file or any other file you are using into your project folder so you don't need to search for it so I will do that and I will click save and I will click next here you can see connections database right now it's connected to SQLite connection which I have created in the last video so I will click this SQLite connection and here you need to write any query related to your connection so I have connected this database which is called project123.sklite with my I report so I will suppose I want to execute or show all these names surname in the form of table so I will just copy this query select star from my table name and I will paste it here and then click next it will ask for the password I don't have any password for my database so I will click OK and it will come here to the fields so here you can choose what fields you want to show in the table if you click this button all fields will come here and all field will be shown in the report or in the form of table for now I just want to sh show employee ID the name then surname and then age I don't want to sh show my username or password or image or gender so I just want to show these four table values for four columns so I will click them and then I will click next I don't want to group my fields so I will leave them as it is and I will click next and it will say congratulations you have successfully created a new report and then you need to click finish and it will take some time and it will generate a new report for you waiting 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 one thing I want to tell you that whenever you are running your iReport designer it takes lot of memory of your CPU so 
sometimes it makes your computer a little bit slow so you can see here you have added employee id name surname and age and this is a default template for our report in the future you can change this uh, picture or whatever so for now i have just added four columns into my report and which are employee id name surname and age and i can preview my report how it will look when i generate the report so click this preview and it will show you the preview click ok for the password and you can see all my table will be shown like this my report will be seen or shown like this ok so in this way this is the simple report I have created with the help of my SQLite database and I report and in the next video I will show you wait a second I just what I want to do is I will click save to my spin no I have already saved my file so I don't need it I will just see that it has really generated my report or not which is first dot report dot jr xml file into my project file folder why it's not opening so I will directly go to my folder and see it has already generated or not no I can't see my file so what I will do is I will click this save button and generally it should save my file but I don't know yeah now I can see my report here first report previously when I looked at it I missed somehow this Jasper report in my folder so it has created this JR XML file into my specified location so I don't need to save it once again so in the next video I will show you how to open this report with the help of your NetBeans Java program so thanks for now and please rate comment and subscribe and bye